Hey everyone, hope you all are well. I'm starting off today's tutorial as usual by priming the eye area with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I like to use the original formula and I add a few swipes of this across my eye area. Then I like to take a Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush and I'm just blending this product then into my skin. So the addition of a primer is just going to help our shadows to go on nice and smoothly, to blend nice and easily and it'll ensure they last all day long as well. I am taking the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette today. I have a boatload of tutorials on this palette. It's really great. And the first shade I'm taking is called Riff. Now, this is a medium warm orange toned brown that's got a matte finish to it. It's lovely and soft and really easy to work with. But because of its texture, you can definitely go overboard with blending it. And I'll show you now what I mean in a moment. I'm just using the tapered end of my brush that came with the Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette to get this colour right into the crease of the eye. And then once I have no product left on my brush, I'm going to use larger sweeping motions, back and forward motions to fade this out. And as I'm sweeping my brush, I'm raising it up a little higher in the direction of the brow bone to fade it out. The texture of this shade is really soft. So what I find is if you're too heavy handed with your blending, you're doing so quite intensely, you'll over blend it and shear it out to essentially nothing. So it really goes for a lot of eyeshadows, you need to just find that balance. So I'm going back in now and I'm reapplying Riff and as you can see, look at that intensity of the colour now compared to what we have on the eyes already. We want to keep that and only fade the edges. So with my last application, I swept my brush over the entire crease area, which faded the entire eyeshadow. So you want to lay down the colour starting in the deepest part of the crease. You want the shadow to be most intense in that region. And then you want it to gradually fade upwards from there. The next shadow I'm taking is called Smog. It's a gorgeous warm golden bronze shade that has a metallic finish to it. It's lovely and buttery, extremely easy to apply with little to no fallout. And I'm applying this with a blank canvas cosmetics E24 flat C shaped brush and I'm adding it to the inner half of the eyelid. Then I'm going to go and take the shade Wanderlust. This is the most beautiful deep foresty green with a pearlescent sheen to it. Again, it's another shade that's lovely and pigmented. I flip that C-shaped brush around and I'm using the other side, the clean side, just to pat this down on the remaining half of the eyelid. And actually using the one brush for these two shadows is beneficial because what I do then is I flush Flip, flip the brush around and I tap over and back where those two shadows meet just to really fuse them together and the excess product from the previous shade overlapping the current shade definitely helps with this. So I want to deepen things up now, I want to add a bit more dimension back into the crease, so I'm taking the shade Punk, this is a warm plum toned brown with a matte finish to it, and the consistency of this is a bit different to some of the other mattes in the palette, it's definitely not as smooth and buttery, it's definitely more on the dry side, but it's alright. So what I'm doing initially is using the tapered brush to apply the colour nice and deep in the crease, I've swept it down towards the lash line on the outer edge so that it connects from the lash line and wraps around into the crease and once I've laid down my colour then I'm working on blending it upwards and fading it out so I'm just wriggling and sweeping over the edge in the crease and when it comes to the outer edge I like to place my brush down and use little flicking motions upwards and outwards in the direction of the tail of my brow and then I work my way back across the crease. So just to make sure the brown is nice and intense still, I'm reapplying, sweeping down onto the lid, just to make sure that it does fade in with those shimmery shades too. I'm taking my tapered brush again and sweeping over the edges just above the crease, using the excess product that's left on my brush. I'm making sure that rift shade can still be seen. I want it to appear like a halo over the other shades. So I'm flipping that brush around now and I'm using the small bullet shaped end of that double ended brush just to sweep some more of that riff eyeshadow all the way down along the lower lash line making sure that it connects up on that outer edge. 
Then I'm taking some more of the shade Wanderlust on a Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm holding the brush at an angle and I'm basically using the length of the brush to coat the lower lash line with that pearlescent green shadow. It's quicker first and foremost than using the tip of the brush to apply uh, because you're covering more ground in one swipe but as well as that you limit the risk of fallout. So I'm going back in now and I'm doing some finishing touches. I know those lid shades can pop a bit more. So I'm reapplying Wanderlust now and then smog down onto the lid. You can use a setting spray too if you really want to enhance those shimmery particles. Completely up to yourself. And then I'm going in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil. This is a light shimmery brown. If you do have smog in your collection, this would be a good one to use too, just to tie in with that lid shade, whatever your preference. Next then, I'm taking the shade Jet, which is a shimmery black shadow. I've picked this up on an angled brush and I'm just using this along the upper lash line just to coat that area. It'll help to make my eyelashes appear a bit thicker and it'll also help to disclose the band of the lashes that I'm about to apply so I'm just applying this all the way across the lash line from outer to inner corner and then I'm also wriggling it into the bottom lash line mainly keeping this to the outer third of the eye then for finishing touches I'm going to apply the shade breakaway I'm using this on a bullet shape brush from wet and wild I'm sweeping this around the tear duct of the eye to add a nice little pop to that area just to brighten it up I've added some of the kiss lashes then um, in the new style this is drip and then I'm using the L'Oreal Bambi false lash mascara to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and to also coat the bottom lashes and then that's it so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I hope you found it helpful and easy to follow I hope you have a wonderful Christmas whatever you have in store and I'll catch you all really soon